what's going on, YouTube? Fine. It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case. For the day one, fam, y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Let's get right into the story. When you are single and out on the scene dating, most people's goals are hoping they find someone they vibe with on a strong level. And if things go well, possibly turn a friendship into a relationship. If that works out after a few years, you feel like you have met someone that understands you, that you could build a life with, and the two of you are in love, then comes the big steps, a proposal, then marriage. The goal is for better or for worse, sickness or health. But honestly, divorce rates are way higher than success stories, as marriage is not easy. Most think that's what they want, someone to grow old with, come home to every day. But when dealing with another individual, you have to understand they grow and people change, sometimes for better or for worse. Their passion about things might switch up, even their desires, leaving one person on one page and the other person on another. Some work through it and understand real marriage is hard work. But if one individual in a marriage is done, that could cause problems if their spouse is still committed, as it takes two people to make a relationship work. Most will let it go, even though it might hurt. Others choose to hold on, praying their wife or husband chooses to stay. When you share your life with a person down to everything, it's hard to just walk away and start over, causing things to get tricky. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we'll be taking it to Virginia Beach to discuss a case of a Navy sailor who slayed his wife's boyfriend after catching them in the act. Back in 2022, 26-year-old Tyler Jenkins seemed to be in a good space, joining the Navy back in 2014 and being stationed in Virginia with a nice apartment in Virginia Beach. Tyler wouldn't be on this journey alone, though. He also had a wife who we will call Shelly. The two met years prior, fell in love, and got married in 2021. Shelly was also in the Navy. The two shared the home, same career, and were on the same page in life. But eventually, the young couple found themselves in that stage a lot of people go through in marriage. Am I really happy? Is this working? Are we good together? Causing them to beef a lot. Mostly Shelly felt this way, as Tyler was fighting to try to keep her. But by August 2021, they had both sat down with a divorce attorney. It seemed the flame had fizzled out. The two would still be married, but claim is separated, and both remained in the same home, sleeping in different rooms. Shelly informed Tyler she wanted to see other people, since they were separated and both still young. She encouraged him to also date, in which they both started to do. By 2022, the couple still remained in the same home, separated, but no divorce. Tyler had been trying to win his wife back by buying her gifts talking to her, assuring her they should give it another chance. Shelly would listen, but let it be known, she felt the relationship had ran its course. On March 11th, 2022, Shelly had got back in town and returned home from an assignment she had from the Navy. Tyler spoke to Shelly, who stated she was going to hang out that day with some friends. One of the friends was a 28-year-old man named Timothy Talley, unknown to Tyler. Shelly stated, they probably hit a few spots and she would be home later. Timothy, who was also in the Navy, was stationed out in California. Hours later, after hanging out, Shelly invited Timothy back to the apartment. The two went in her room and proceeded to turn up and get it in. Tyler's door was closed, so Shelly assumed he was sleeping or wasn't home. While the two was in the middle of their session, Tyler kicked in Shelly's bedroom door, blick in hand, catching Timothy and her in the act. He let off a few shots before Timothy jumped back and pleaded, like, bro, don't do this. But Tyler fired more shots. By this time, Shelly grabbed the phone and called local police and told them her husband had just shot her boyfriend. Tyler didn't run. He simply walked to his room, put the gun up in the closet, and waited for police to arrive. When they arrived to the 4800 block of Crystal Line Place, 
they entered the apartment to find Timothy suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was rushed to a local hospital. Shelly told officers, my husband caught us having intercourse, but we all separated. He came in shooting at both of us, stating she was also in fear for her life. Tyler still on the scene, calmly told police, what was I supposed to do? I caught a man in the house in bed with my wife. I did nothing wrong. Asking police, did y'all find a gun? I have nothing to hide. But when placed in custody and taken to the station, Tyler changed his story after Timothy unfortunately passed away from his injuries. Tyler told police he thought the act was by force and he thought he was protecting his wife. But it contradicted what he told police back at the apartment saying he caught them in the act and what was he supposed to do. Tyler was charged with second degree murder and attempted malicious wounding. Detectives got more information about Tyler's and Shelly's relationship, including his phone, that allegedly showed he was also dealing with another woman. Shelly stated he would bring women to the apartment, so when she bought Timothy, she didn't think anything about it because they were separated and both agreed to date other people. As the case started making its way to trial, Tyler's lawyers argued it was a clear crime of passion as he caught his wife in bed with another man after he had bought her gifts and recently spoke about getting back together. But prosecutors argued Tyler knew exactly what he was doing. He went in a room with the intentions to kill. Eventually, Tyler would be convicted of second degree hit and sentenced to 23 years with eight suspended, leaving him to serve 15. Rest in peace to Timothy. I send my deepest prayers and condolences to his family. It's crazy. Bro was just visiting and lost his life just trying to get his rocks off. Caught in the middle of a married couple's tick for tack relationship. Shelly and Tyler should have never stayed at that apartment together. And if they did choose to, because I know in the Navy you get certain benefits like housing for being married, they should have laid down some ground rules. Like don't bring no one here, just get a hotel. Unfortunately, it goes like that when a person can't let go. And there's no telling what Tyler saw when he walked in that room. It caused him to zap out. Shelly definitely was wrong as well. She was trying to have fun, but don't no one know that spouse better than a wife. In my opinion, she put Timothy's life in danger for some get back. Timothy should have never entered the married woman's home. I would have told her, let's just get a room. Even if she was separated or probably not even dealt with her at all. But you can't blame him. He probably didn't even know that her husband lived there. Now one man lost his life. Another life is on pause for years and Shelly had to live with that trauma of that night. So remember, we got to succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood to man. Crazy story. Rest in peace that man. Usually I end it there, but I want to ask everybody a question. Men and women, if you walk in, you separated from your spouse, y'all living in the same home and you catch them in the act in the house that y'all pay bills in with another person, how would you carry it? Let me know in the comments. Definitely be respectful. But yeah, y'all already know it's all love. I definitely appreciate you if you made it to the end. This is another episode of Hood Tales. It's your boy Tony two times. Love, fam. I'm out.